everyone we are back at it with trying to react to literally anyone and I'm gonna be starting off with Gabrielle because you guys really really requested this one and it's been the longest since I've reacted to him all other artists that I've reacted to can wait because he's been put off for the longest so we're gonna start with him and because I have the fewest reactions to her we're gonna end with Lara Fabian as I said in my community post and I'm mainly saying this because for each artist, I'm going to be doing like several, several reaction videos as like mini marathons to each and every one. If you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? You know you want to, especially since I keep putting out videos with him. And if you want to hear me do more, make sure to always put more in the comments below. I would love to check out more of this artist, so put your requests in the comments as always. And I'm going to be reacting to Gabrielle sing something beautiful both the AGT version and the one on his channel compare the two so let's get started <laughs> Jacob Banks I think it was not really sure here is then taking half my pride ain't I wrong we know really great so far what i love about this performance is the fact that it seems like it's not showing off immediately one of the other times i reacted to gabrielle he was singing oh holy night and he showed off from the very beginning with his riffs and runs doing a mariah carey version of the song for his cover for i say to both of them don't do riffs and runs let the melody have its way and then grow it later on into something more unique i heard him do a big run earlier and he didn't do it in a way that was untasteful or even just extra he did it in a way that suited the song but he also let it have its moment he did it in a way that suited the song and i like that so far it seems like he's using a much more square shape of vibrato and i would assume that's intentional it sounds like it fits just put in everything i noticed so far let's keep going you pick me up running to my knees every rock when stop it there though obviously he's got to include a whistle note somewhere <laughs> that wouldn't that wouldn't be Gabrielle to not at least try to do that with every song he does something I wanted to go back to when he belted that high C that tenor high C just trying to find it oh, 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 Early. 
look at how he's got his head tilted back and then he's got his jaw dropped with the perfect rectangle shape in his mouth wide but also dropped that's like the perfect position at least when it comes to your mouth itself for letting out big belted maybe even mixed belted sound for this though I hope it's for style for him to lift his chin like that. I do the same myself sometimes, I would assume. I can't really look in the mirror to figure out for sure, but this is the most I would do going from this to this. Especially since right now, being still in school and having my musical juries coming up this Monday, I can safely say this is not appropriate in a classical setting. In pop, I would say, eh, do it at your own risk. But if it works and it's not letting you fall apart, it's fine for the most part. But in classical, I'm just letting anyone know that with that personal influence going on in my mind, not really, not really letting myself think that lifting your chin up that much is appropriate. Just saying. Let's go back to where we were before. <laughs> I went too far. Something that a lot of people, including me, who hasn't really put in the training for is connecting your whistle down to your falsetto falsetto like that it's really amazing watching him not only achieve whistle notes in his songs consistently perfectly but even more impressive connecting that back down to his falsetto it's just really amazing that you are here, here with me Bashfulness, it's so Gabrielle it's so Enrique! Sophia, your golden buzzer! Yes. I mean, I don't even have anything to say. It was perfection. It was just like an angel. It was like, a, I, I don't know. I mean, you are definitely a star. It was Obrigado. beautiful. Thank you so much. I think people are going to vote for you because, I mean, I still have goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> All the judges were on their feet, Simon, including you. Well, you know what? You could have sung something more obvious. The fact that you sang this song, I know the original, the Jacob Banks song. It is one of my favorite songs. You absolutely nailed it. Yeah! It was better way better in my opinion than your first audition. So I think you've just maybe booked yourself a spot in the final. Yes! I don't know what happened yes! after this. I just know that <laughs> his song choice for this I mean, is what you have prevented an unbelievable him from talent, going forward. And especially from the second part of the song, you really showed what sets you apart from the other yep. singers, I feel like. You know, you busted out some tunes that are unhuman. You know, it was incredible what inhuman. we just heard. Just incredible. It's a little thing. Bravo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Howie. Yeah, when you first started, I was concerned because I didn't know that this was the right choice. But it turns out, once you hit that note, that's what makes you stand out. That's why people are going to remember you. That's because, that's why I believe you're going to be one of the two votes that move on to the next Has level. Yes! Yeah. Yes, thank you. Gabrielle, what do you want the audience to take away from your performance tonight? Eu gosto de cantar aquilo que eu sinto. E se não sentir, não tiver amor, para mim não vale de nada. O amor é tudo. I like to I like to sing what I feel in my heart, and if it's not with love, then it doesn't mean anything. Stand taking off 
my pride Ain't I wrong With nowhere to hide I'm exposed See my flaws And all But you're still here And that's something beautiful something I didn't realize until now um this is probably a church song he learned I don't know how long he's been singing it but I imagine it's something you would sing in a church with a stage and stuff not what I'd imagine being appropriate for a church but I don't know what denomination he's from but I did hear that his father was a pastor and he got inspiration for singing the songs he learned in church and considering the message and how clean his diction was to allow me to understand what the message is this is probably something he's learned from growing up in the church he grew up in. I hope that makes sense. Oh, oh, that's something Daddy, beautiful. yes, I didn't know there was a choir. Oh, oh, that's something beautiful. Oh, oh, that you are here, here with me. Most artists, like me, when they figure out something they want to do that gives the song a little spice, they grab one thing and then they cut anything else as an idea because they just want to lazily stick to one thing that works and not practice enough. <laughs> another thing. He not only proved that he has the vocal flexibility to do something different and whistle anytime he wants, but also put in the effort to do it so different that I was just like, that's not where he started last time. And he also went higher than the other time as well. So just little, little something that makes the song stand out from the last one. Not just that, but also the fact that he's not using as intimate of an accompaniment style. He's getting someone on the piano, but also on the guitars and the drums. And he's got a choir backing him up, making sure it sounds gospel-like. Or r and I'm going to assume gospel because that's the main genre a lot of chorus songs come in for if it's not the main focus. I hope that makes sense and I hope I'm right about all this. Let me know in the comments. <laughs>
This is just a little thing. Could you have tried to end on the do instead of the sol for the piano? Um, it, it just sounds unsettling. I hope you enjoyed this reaction, and I hope that you got something out of it, at least with what I was able to say. Thank you for watching, and if you want more Gabrielle, you know what to do. Subscribe with the notifications on, put your requests in the comments as per usual. I will be checking in on those comments sections all the time as I film multiple Gabrielle reaction videos for this upcoming month. And with that said, I will see you all next time. Bye.